Don Kessinger, Glenn Beckett, Ernie Banks, Ron Santo, Randy Hutley, Ferguson Jenkins, Billy Williams, Jose Cardinal. Oh, man. 49 years I've been following the Chicago Cubs, and I grew up with those names I just mentioned. 49 years of waiting for the Cubs to win anything of importance. I thought this year would be the year. I followed the season from spring training to yesterday. They had the best record in baseball. Yes, I know that the best record in the regular season means nothing in postseason, but this team had 103 wins. They were 17 and a half games ahead of the next closest opponent, the St. Louis Cardinals, in their division. They had the first earned run average in all of baseball, the very first. They were third in runs scored. Their batting average was 14th. Yet and still, the Cleveland Indians, who had won 94 games in the regular season, while the Cubs won 103. The Cleveland Indians, who won 94 games, now have the Chicago Cubs in the best of seven World Series down three games to one, with one game remaining in Wrigley Field and two games remaining in, in Cleveland Ohio. Cleveland, okay, of all places. I followed this team. I stuck with this team. I watched this team do things this season that no other team has done. They set some record-breaking things this season. It comes down to the final series where they need four wins, just four wins, to win a World Series. And all they come up with is one. They've lost two games on their home field. Now, people say, well, it's just a game. It's just sport. But see, it's a little bit more than that when you know how sports works. Vegas had this team, the Chicago Cubs, odds on favorites to win the World Series, which means betting in Vegas on the Cubs would not get you a lot of money. But now if you bet against the Cubs or some other team and that team won and the Cubs fooled around and blew those odds that everyone was stacked with them, then that means a lot of people make money. Now am I saying that they're throwing this World Series? I'm not sure, but I've watched it. I've watched them play. Their pitching sucks. Their hitting is non-existent. They haven't shown up for any of the games, actually. They lost two games in shutouts. It's unfathomable to me, unfathomable, that this team could be so rotten, stupid, bad for a seven-game series that they have played all year for. They're down three games to one. One game left in Wrigley Field, two other games in, in, in Cleveland. And there's no way in hell the Chicago Cubs are going to win three games. <laughs> They're not going to win three games in a row. The Cleveland Indians, in my estimation, watching them this year and looking at their records, are nobodies. Well, people say they peaked at the right time. Peaked my ass. The Cubs have been peaking all year. For them to go into the seven game series and have one victory, suffer two shutouts, and pitching just go in the toilet when they had the number one ERA of all time this year. That indicates that something is not right. And it's not management, it's not players. I don't want to sound like it's a Black Sox thing, but come on. How can you not win but one game in a World Series when you had 103 victories in the regular season? How can your pitching in a World Series 
of seven games just automatically vanish. They have two errors tonight or last night. Two errors. They're playing like third grade little girls or better still, they're playing like meth addicts with one leg on crack. Yes, one legged crack addicted meth addicts. That's what they play like. I give up. I'm sick and tired of them. I am not following the Cubs anymore. I am no longer a fan. I've been a fan since I was eight years old. That's 49 fucking years ago. I've watched the Cubs do some ridiculous shit like trade away all their star players. Bill Madlock, greatest hidden third baseman pretty much that there was in that era. They gave him away. All the great players that came through Chicago in their years were traded off to other places before they even got great. Finally, they get Epstein to come in from, I think it was Boston, and put a team together and work their asses off. And they get here and they blow it. I'm done. I got nothing else to give the Cubs. I've been with them and I can't do any more. I'm not a real big sports fan, but I've been following these cats since my grandfather took me to the first game. By all rights, I'm a White Sox fan because I grew up going to Comiskey Park on the south side. And Comiskey had the best damn food of any park I've ever been to. But the Cubs were so down on their luck and such a hard luck story, it's hard not to root for them. It's hard not to get sucked up into that Wrigleyville aura. But I can't do it anymore. If they're not going to play their hearts out to win a game, to win a series, to get the recognition they deserve for this year, because it was a magical year. If they're going to blow it, give it away on some bullshit, because I think that's all this is, is bullshit. The Cubs should be winning this series. They should have won it in five games, no more than six. Now they're not going to win it all because they aren't capable of winning three games in a row. Hell, they may not even win another single game in this series. I'm done. Can't do it anymore. I've tried. I've been doing it. They disappoint. They disappoint. They disappoint. And I'm just tired of it. This has been the Militant Negro, better known as JB. You guys have a good Halloween. Namaste and be safe.